The first thing that struck us was how amazingly beautiful this little colonial town is. Look at that! Welcome to Guatemala guys, I'm Marlin and behind the camera is my husband Alex as always. Today we are in Antigua, Guatemala, a world UNESCO heritage town that used to be the capital of this country. Guys, we didn't do any whatsoever research about Antigua Guatemala before coming here. When we arrived in the taxi a couple of days ago, the first thing that struck us was how amazingly beautiful this little colonial town is. We were so amazed by the pretty buildings and we felt super excited about being here. Having been here for a couple of days, we have noticed that it's not really budget friendly. You will mostly find upscale restaurants, cafes and museums that will charge you money. There is not much that is for free here to be honest. Antigua Guatemala is built on top of a big fault line, there are many volcanoes around and occasionally there are some really big earthquakes and one in 1773 really stands out which destroyed much of the town but what's left of it you can still check out. You can go and see some of these ruins. The first ruins that we come across today is Santa Clara Convent and Church. It was initially founded by nuns from Puebla in Mexico in 1699 and has been destroyed a few times by the earthquakes but you can still see this beautiful facade. If you go inside they have beautiful gardens as well apparently. However as we're doing a completely free walking tour today it's not in our budget and it actually costs 40 quetzal. Guys, we have just arrived to San Jose Cathedral, which has got some spectacular ruins inside that we wanted to check out. We were under the impression that it was actually going to be for free, but in reality it cost 20 quetzal each. But a lovely guy at the ticket counter let us get some shots. So as you can see guys, it's pretty difficult to do anything for free here in Antigua, Guatemala. Just like in Mexico, the Spanish colonial cities were designed in the same way with the square in the middle, you have a cathedral on the side, the government building and residential areas for the more rich people on the other side of the square. Guys, we have found some other ruins here behind me. We have no idea what they are but there was a big tourist group there with a guide just a minute ago so they must be important. So let's go and check them out guys. Right behind us guys is the church that Marlin was just talking about, it's called Iglesia El Carmen and I think it's probably the most impressive one we've seen so far. The facade is absolutely incredible as you can see and the ruins go right back inside. However there's a fence so we can't go inside but let's give you guys some shots. money guys, 40 quetzal per person, so not on our free walking tour. Let's go back out. So what are you going to do instead then Alex? I don't know, I think we need to find something else to do. Maybe we'll go to the market or up the hill. Let's see what else we can get up to. Guys, if you're budget travellers like we are and are travelling long term and are trying to not spend all of your money, then Antigua Guatemala might not be the place for you unless you're fine with just seeing all of the attractions from the outside. So of the four ruins that we've been to so far, three of them you could go inside and the total amount of the three ruins that you could enter was $25 for the two of us so far. With the risk of sounding a little bit negative, I just want to point out that there are so many cars here. The streets are so pretty, the buildings are amazing, but they're all covered with cars parked along every little tiny street. Now we're really looking forward to getting out in nature, which we're going to do tomorrow. So if you want to see something else of Guatemala, that will be in our next vlog. 
guys, we have arrived to the Santa Catalina Arch, or as it's called in Spanish, El Arco de Santa Catalina. This is probably the most famous landmark of Antigua Guatemala. Also the most famous photo that you will see when you put in Antigua Guatemala in the Google search. Behind the arch, there's this beautiful backdrop of the volcano. Unfortunately though, it's really, really cloudy and hazy over at that side, so we won't be able to show you guys. So right here guys, we have a very interesting scene. Lots of different parts of Jesus' life by looks of it. Over there he is carrying the cross. Over there he's being you know, helped by some people. And then right over there, you have the Roman guards looking out for him. Something very peculiar guys, that surprised us a lot about Guatemala and actually Mexico in some places as well. There are tuk-tuks here, rickshaws, and it seems that they are imported from India. Not what we expected to see here in North America and Central America. How do you know they're imported from India? Because Alex read something on the back of one the other day, the brand I think. What did you read? Bajaj. Apparently that is Indian. Yeah, I am no idea. the Indian brand you see everywhere in India. Bajaj. B-A-J-A-J. -A -A if you are an Indian viewer, because we know we have quite a few of you, is that Indian? Are we right? Guys, we've just come to the part of the town where they seem to have their only street food, so we think it's time for a little snack. Hola. Hola, ¿qué te damos? Uh, dos empanadas, ¿cuánto sale? Dos por quince. Vale, ¿Toma? dos por favor. Completo, con todo. Okay. Alright, so we're having empanadas. We've had them in a street stall here before. Then they cost 10 for two, but they were slightly smaller. These ones actually seem quite a lot bigger. So you get them on a plate, and then on top they put guacamole and some other things, and it's really yummy. Let's see if these ones are as good as the one fried last time. Doesn't that look really yummy? Actually, this is much bigger than the ones we got the other day, so to be honest, I think it might actually be better value for money. So I'm gonna have to pay the lady now and then we will see you guys eating this. Now we've come to our favorite part of vlogging, guys. It's time for a food review. We're not very good at this, but we're trying our best. The most important thing is that we enjoy what we're eating and I'm quite sure that I'm gonna enjoy that. Don't know how to start because it's pretty big and like everything that you eat in this part of the world, I used to say this about Mexico, it's gonna be messy because you're eating with your hands. Look at that! Mm. That is really yummy. So the empanada is really crunchy on the outside. What did you say was inside, Alex? Uh, there was some meat and vegetables. Yeah, it's really nice. It's quite savory. And then you have the guacamole on top. There seem to be some tomato sauce. There are carrots. There is some cabbage on it. This is turning out a whole meal. I thought we were just going to have a little snack. We were planning on ending this video behind me here up on the hill at a place called El Mirador de la Cruz. In English that means the cross viewpoint. From up there you get a beautiful view of the city and the surrounding volcanoes and you can also get a nice sunset shot from up there. However, it looks sunny now, feeling me, I got the sun on me, but behind Alex over there it's all cloudy and hazy and you haven't been able to see the volcanoes all day. So instead of going up there to end the video, we're going to make one more stop in this video. We're going to head to the local market and you're going to see what that is all about. It's a huge market and I'm sure that you guys will like it because we love it. But if you guys want to see some volcanoes, don't worry because the next video is all about volcanoes and you can see a little preview right here. Currently the most exciting part of looking at this volcano, there's some lava running down on the side of it. So if you're in Guatemala and you want to travel on the cheap, one of these is your options. They're called a chicken bus and they're pretty cheap to get around. 
All right then guys, we have arrived to Mercado Antigua. At the first glance, it looks like it's just one long street. But once you get further in, you realize that it's huge in here. There's an outdoor part and an indoor part. And indoors, you get completely lost. You will have no clue where you're going. There's everything in Miss Market, guys. You've got clothes, toys, fruit, food, veg, eggs over there, street food. It seems like a great place to come. Lots of local people, hardly any tourists around. We were here a few nights ago and I think we saw maybe one tourist walking around. Maybe they think it's a bit dangerous walking around here at night, but for ourselves, we feel really safe walking around, even with the big camera. There's a type of fruit that I've been wanting to try for a while now since we were in Mexico and here in Guatemala and it's called Mame. We've never tried it before and we saw it a few nights ago when we were in the market so we're going to have a look to see if we can find one now. I think I have found it guys. It's that fruit over there. It's got brown outside, brown skin and then it's red on the inside. I'm going to ask them if that is what it is. All right? Hola. Hola. Is it mame? No, sapote. No. Sapote. It's not mame, it's sapote. Sapote is como un tipo de fruta? Es fruta. Es dulce o como es el sabor? Es dulce. Do you want to try that one instead? That so no mame, sapote, sapote, sapote instead. ¿Cuánto vale? Tres por diez. Y si quiero solamente comprar uno para probar, cinco. Is that too expensive, you think, Alex? Cuatro por ese. Okay. Okay. okay, let's buy one for four. Kisala, how much is that, Alex? Approximately? Uh, half a dollar. Half a dollar. Look, I have no idea what it's supposed to cost, but we really wanted to try something different. And this is also fruit that we've never tried before, so let's go ahead. Okay, una. ¿Se puede pasarlo para nosotros para lo probamos aquí? She's gonna cut it up for us, so we get to try it right here. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I don't know what it resembles. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna hand you the wallet, put it in your pocket. Here we go. First try of Sapote. Hmm. Maybe like a mix between pear and custard apple. It's very nice. The texture is very much like custard apple. And I don't know how to explain it, but it's really delicious. Knowing Alex, I'm not sure what he's going to think because he's not a big fan of custard apple, which I am. But let's see what he has to say. Here it is, the sapote. It's a super dark orange color. Almost looks like a really ripe papaya. And wow, it's really, really soft as well. It's gooey like jelly. It feels very tropical. I don't know if anyone's ever tried a Sharon fruit. I don't know what it comes what it's called in Spanish. Uh, it doesn't matter what it's called in Spanish. But it tastes a bit like a Sharon fruit or a tropical fruit. Yeah, it's got a bit of a papaya hint to it. Uh, some people compare papaya to rubbish. Uh, I don't, but I guess it's got that kind of flavor. Not oh, rubbish flavor, papaya it's flavor. It's much sweeter than a papaya, much more sugary. Yeah. Don't you think it resembles a custard apple a little bit? I don't remember what a custard apple tastes like, so I can't say, but chili it's... Chili moya. Chili moya, yeah, a bit like a chili moya, but... Yeah, you know what it'd be great in? It'd be great in a shake. Mm. You do like it, right? Yeah, I think it's right. I couldn't eat too much of it because I think it's probably quite filling. Uh, it's got a lot of kind of fiber in it, so I guess it's pretty pretty good for your diet as well and digestive system. But in a shake with banana and pineapple and a bit of coconut milk, bam, that's the job. Alright guys, we were planning on taking you inside the market but as it's quite cloudy and it's getting dark, the sun is going to set very soon, it will be pretty dark in there and you won't see much and it's really just like 
any other market that we showed you in previous videos, both here in Mexico and in Asia where we've been before. So we're gonna end it here. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I can't show you how to do that because I've got yes. support in my hand. And please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell button so you get notified when we upload our videos. So also drop us a comment guys. What did you think of this lovely little town Antigua? And would you come and explore all the different ruins that you can go in and go inside museums as well? Or are you like us and like to do things on the Jeep? And would you like to try some tropical fruit that you've never had before? Yeah. Like we did now. It's actually really delicious. I really recommend it. Anyways, guys, we're gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. And a special thanks to all of our patrons for keeping us motivated and helping us stay on the road. I don't want to hear that ring ring. I don't want to have that ring ring. A large amount of city was destroyed. Uh, but the lovely guy at the city cake. Oh, what kind of... <laughs> Sorry, got a little bit loud there with a vehicle passing. Here we go. She is being annoying today. <laughs> so our plan was to end this video. Be no! <laughs>